So let's talk some real estate today, all right? We want to give you some real estate information. We always try to do that every time that we come on. We want to give you up-to-date, relevant real estate information. So again, we're going to talk today about, we get the question all the time, I want to look for a house, I'm going to start my home search, I'm going to be looking for a home, but what are the best sources? What are the best places? You got something funny there. Go ahead. <laughs> I just looked down here and read Dad put green appliances. Oh, okay. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> so, good answer, Dad. But again, everybody asks us where and what are the best places for me to look for my next home. A lot of people, a lot of people, this is, dude, this is, this is what we see, and you probably saw this if you search for a home. There are a lot of different options for you to be able to search. Websites, different places, mm -hmm. newspapers, billboards, all magazines, all those places. But what are the best sources for that? A lot of that information, by the time you get it as a consumer, mm -hmm. if you're not real careful, the house has already got a contract on it. Yep. It's already outdated. Yep. That information is kind of gone. So we're going to give you today the three best sources that you could use to be able to find the next home if you're searching or you know someone that's going to be searching. What are the three best sources to use? I'll go first. All right. Here's the number one source. I think this is the number one source because I think everything else that we're going to talk about will relate back to this. But here's the number one source to be able to find your next home. You need to use, enlist the, the services, right, of a licensed real estate agent or realtor in whatever area that you're looking for a home in. Right. All right? And I'm saying, again, the area does matter. Yes. The area that you're looking for, if you're looking for a house in Nashville, even though we could help you, mm -hmm. We wouldn't be able to service you the best to be able to do that. Right. Because that's not necessarily our local market. Even though we're licensed, we can conduct business anywhere in the state of Tennessee, mm -hmm. you want to use someone in the local area. But it needs to be a local real estate agent. Do not try to. In the competitive market that we're in right now, I think you'll agree with this. Homes that are coming on the market, they are, they're not lasting no, nothing like we've seen in years. They're going very quickly. Right. So you're going to need a resource that you don't have to wait for it to get in the books. You don't have to wait for the newspaper. Right. And as a matter of fact, you don't even have to wait for it to get to these national websites. The Zillows, the Realtor.coms, the Trulias, all those places. You don't even want to have to wait for it to get there. Right. Because there is a time frame from that house being listed and to the house actually getting to those websites, especially if you're talking about magazines, newspapers, those kind of things, there are going to be a lot of times those listings already have contracts on them before you ever see Again, them. Again, yeah, I mean, if you're really on the house hunt, right. time is of the essence. No doubt. You There's need, because no again, I mean, it's just something that we hear and see daily is All that, the time. again, I, I found a house, and then you call to find out, okay, okay, you call me at 2 o'clock today, I want to see a house at 6.30 tonight, mm -hmm. and then, boom, under contract, pending. Well, I can tell you just in our office, I can tell you the last, I think, three, maybe four listings that we have listed here in the office, which have all been within just the last short period of time. Mm -hmm. All of those listings, three of them, I know it was four, three of the four had contracts within 24 hours of being listed. Oh, yeah. John, new agent just in the background here, literally put one on the market yesterday, mm -hmm. has already had three, two showings, three calls about getting in to see that house. Right. The, so that's what I'm saying. You need to work with a realtor that's going to be able to get you that information. Now, why do I say that? The MLS, the Multiple Listing Service, is something that all the agents in the local area, we are a member of the Lakeway Area Association of Realtors. Right. Anytime a new listing is put into that service by a local real estate agent, we are immediately have access and notified of that. Right. We also have the capabilities of if you're looking for a house in a particular area with the MLS, we're able to go in and set up a search for you that you also, along with us, immediately when that house hits the market, you're going to get an email notification that says, hey, a home is that you have chose the price range, the bedrooms, the bath, right, whatever criteria in the area you're for. that you've put in there, it's just come on the market. Right. That's going to beat out everything, y'all. Yes. That's going to beat out everything as far as having that done. So number one is, what's the best source for you to be able to find your next home? 
the best source is is to work with a local real estate agent in a particular area. Anything else to Absolutely add to that? Absolutely no. That's why I think you need to stick with the local realtor. Give them number two. Number two. I'm going to tell you what I think number two is. We're going to put that thing up on the screen. Yeah, number again. two is this. Right here. That's what I that, think number two, number two is. Number two is. I'm with you. I don't that. know if that's what I was supposed to tell you, but number I'm going to tell you number two is. is you need to download the Elite Realty Group app. Absolutely. Because I'm telling you, that's the coolest thing. Since no doubt started. about it, man. No doubt about it. It really it. is. I'm telling you, it's yes. a it's a one-stop shop. That's right. Again, it is a local. Uh, you can you know you can register. I don't know how deep all this goes. You goes can probably deep. explain a whole lot. Goes but deep. you can register, create an account. Yeah. I, if if, Safe, if I'm sir. your agent, I can see exactly what you're looking at. Yes. You know, so it's it's very. Uh, well, here's what I'll give say. Me, give me what word I'm looking for here. There's a modern. word. Yeah, there you yeah. go, modern. You know, it's, it's sure. cutting edge. It's technology. Cutting edge. That's you know what, what I was looking for. That's the real word I wanted. But here, here's what I'll say about the app. Our app or an app, okay? When you look at your, I, I would say, yeah. I, well, this needs to be a poll question one time, by the way. What are people watching us on right now? Are you watching us on a computer? Are you watching us on your phone? Are you watching us on a tablet? And how many would rather be watching us on the big screen? Yes, absolutely. So, right. I it's, think it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Yeah. Right, it's coming. Speak it out. As if. But what I'm saying is, the majority of people that do anything right My now. My hands rich. What's that mean? Coming into money. Okay. The majority of people that do anything right now, it is with an app. Yes. I, agree. So I, 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 I kind of said that earlier. Yes. I think the majority of people do everything on an app. Yes. I mean, again, we're on Facebook, okay? The app. The, yeah, I'm sure most people on their phone, maybe I'm wrong, maybe we're all sitting here in a la-la land right now, but I will guarantee probably most people have an app on their phone right. for Facebook. They don't go and type in www.facebook.com. Now, I do that. Well, I'm saying... Yeah, I'm, a, I'm just saying I do do that. On your phone? No. No, that's what I'm saying. No. That's what I'm saying. On a computer, though. On a computer, I do, too. Yes. Yeah, I do, too. But I'm saying I think most people probably watch us on a phone. I agree. Probably from the Facebook app. I agree. 100%. So apps are just... But again... Everything's got an app. When you think of that, let's go back to, again, time is of the essence. Dave said that earlier. He made that comment. Having an app that you can go in and save your search... Be notified again when new listings hit the market that you're looking for in right. the area that you're looking for. Your phone is with you 24-7. Yes. All right? People wake up, first thing they look at is their phone. Mm -hmm. the, the last thing they usually look at before they go to bed is their phone. It's laying either on them while they're in the bed, on the nightstand beside them. It goes everywhere you go. You take it to church, to the doctor, to work. You've got your phone. So you want something when you're looking for a home that can give you those notifications that's going to allow you to do that. Yeah, and, you know, I'm going to say even like, uh, I'm going to probably tie something in here, but even like with our websites. I know, right. and I think our app's the same way, but, you know, again, like, uh, it. so I'm going back, take back to your point, that's why it's good to have a local. Because mm -hmm. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with the Zillows and the Realtor.com. Sure. No. But, like, you don't have an, assign, an assigned person on there right. that knows what you're looking for. If you've got an assigned local agent or you've got a relationship with them, mm -hmm. it's a whole lot easier. Like I know, like I said, on our website, you can save stuff, and it sends right. me a notification saying, Mike, who's mm -hmm. my client on there, has saved a new listing. Mm -hmm. So I know Mike's interested in that. Sure. So let's go get in it. You That's know what right. I mean? So, again, yeah. I, I just think it's a whole lot more, and the app side of it, is even more modern than the website That's side right. of it. And the third the third source is a website. So yes. the top three is local realtor, use an app, or use a local realtor's website. And as Dave just said, the reason you want to do those things is because you're connected to someone that is local. You're going to get that local expertise. Right. Whatever market that you're in, you need that. You're going to get that local expertise, whether, again, they're using the MLS, you're using their app, or you're using their website. Again, website being the third best source for you to do that. And the only reason that it's after the app is, again, because your phone's with you all the time. Right. And uh, you're, you're not going to get as quickly notified right. as using the app. Although you will, with the website, be able to do the same thing. I know with our website, those notifications and oh, everything. Yeah. It's still there. Go K ahead. Karen says comments. it's very interactive. I like where you can sort by what you're looking for, like how many bedrooms, price, lowest to highest. She loves it. She's downloaded the Absolutely. app. Absolutely. We appreciate that, Karen. We really liked it. We talked with a lot of different developers 
for this app, mm -hmm. went through, looked at a lot, and again, we wanted one that was going to be user friendly to you. Two things we were looking for. We wanted the GPS search. Mm -hmm. It was a big deal to us because right. again, wherever you are and you open that app, the closest homes that are on the market for sale are going to come up. So we know a lot of people like to drive around. A lot of people like to drive around and look. So you can have the app open and it just goes with you. Right. Yeah. So you're always being able to see and find those things. The second thing we wanted to look for is we wanted an app that was literally 100% free of charge. Right. You don't have to pay nothing. You don't have to do nothing. You just go in there and start doing it. Now, you can go in there and, and create an account. I would highly suggest you, by the way, right, cause if you, you're looking for a house, go create you an account in that app. It's free. Yeah, you can save You can your save stuff. everything. Yeah, yeah. So then you don't have to go back searching for and digging for when you're driving around. Save that house to your account in there. Totally free for you to do that. That's what we were looking for. So again, that when we're talking about looking for a house, that's why we're saying to use these types of programs, a local realtor with an app, a website, something you can get the information to because you said it best earlier, time is of the essence. Yeah. I mean, again, that, and I'm going to even go say this is the buying side, but this is also the selling side, okay? okay. If you have an agent yes. that does not have... A yes. website that yes. is functional and and now even yeah. like I you said, an that. app. I, you know, um, you need those things. Not very many people have an app, but I'm saying yeah. um, if you don't have an agent that does that, if you still have an agent, if you if you are looking to get an agent and the agent tells you that they put it in the newspaper or books, you know, just be careful. You gotta watch. Be careful. Yeah. <laughs> and again, just we're saying that totally. Because, because of how of things and, and how fast oh, things are how moving. How quickly that things yeah. are moving. Yeah. So again, that is your real estate information today. The three best sources for you to be able to find your next house is a local realtor, a local realtor's app, or a local realtor's website, again, to be able to get you that information quickly and to you. If you've just joined us and you've not participated yet in the poll question, we've got it in the corner of the screen, but what color siding would you choose? This information is being taken and used on the show that we are in production with right now called Turning This House into a Home. We're wanting to see what color siding choices that you guys like. We've got green, tan, and white in there. We want you to weigh in with those choices in the box. A lot of great answers already has came in, so we appreciate you I'll guys. I'll just tell you, I'm, I'm kind of working on a side show too here at the same time. Gotcha. And because, you know, I've been going up there and working a whole lot at that house. I mean, right driving my truck up there just about mm -hmm. every day so right now when i get done with this show i'm going to need somebody to help me turn the inside of my truck <laughs> yeah. back into something you can sit in i've got it's sand sheet right? rock dust yeah. all in there it, it's everywhere yeah I, I like couldn't even wear my suit to work this morning i had to wear work clothes <laughs> and then change in the <laughs> when, when you got, got here so dirty it, in there. it's so dirty so we're having a blast doing that you guys like sharing invite we're going to take a short commercial break we're going to come back and give you local area happenings, let you know what's going on around the Lakeway area here. And then again, we've got a little bit more information for you before we go today. So you guys hang on. Commercial break. We'll be right back for the conclusion of the 115th episode of Lakeway Area Real Estate Talk Live presented by Elite Realty Group. We will be right back, y'all. We also want to remind you, if you have not yet, you can find us on Apple Podcasts and iTunes, or you can find us at Buzzsprout.com, Spotify, all of the places that you find your great podcast, you are able to find us there. Just simply search Lakeway Area Real Estate Talk Live, and we should be able to pop up on your favorite podcast location. Go right ahead, I thought, sir. This, I thought this was pretty cool. Absolutely. Uh, I'm in all these little gadgets, you know, these modern, nice right. stuff. You know, I like doing all that stuff. Right. App. 
for yeah, one. Right. Uh, but uh, so I've got Alexa. I've got Alexa. You know, Alexa's all in my house. Uh-huh. I told Alexa to play Lakeway Area Real Estate Talk Live podcast, uh-huh. and she played it for Absolutely, me the other day. Man. I thought that was pretty That's cool. Exactly cool. I was like, Alexa, play Lakeway. Yeah, Area yeah. she'll do it. There she comes, buddy. One hundred percent. So again, we got a lot of episodes on there. You can again, if you don't want to see us, you can hear us. We're just giving good real estate information on there. For you also, we want to get this content out, and you guys help us get the content literally around the world.